Becoming a teacher requires you to accept some significant legal responsibilities and authorities, particularly around exercising a duty of care, which legally is described like that of a responsible parent. Given that, how would you act in the following scenarios? A child with physical disabilities is struggling to change for PE. They're visibly frustrated and becoming distressed. What will you say and do? It's a hot sunny day, there's little or no shade in the playground and a child comes to you with sun cream and asks you to apply it to areas of their back, neck and arms where they can't reach themselves. What do you do? A nine-year-old girl is crying in your classroom, but she won't tell you why. You ask her to stay behind at the end of the lesson and ask her, why are you crying? What's the matter? At first the child refuses to tell you, but you press her and she says, I think my mum's going to die. Why do you think that, you ask? She's got cancer, replies the child, then bursts into tears. What is the appropriate response to such a situation? My book will not only inform you about what, how to handle situations like these, but I'm convinced it will give you confidence, motivate and inspire you too. Becoming a teacher is to enter the most fundamental profession in society. If you would like a copy of Becoming a Teacher, you can click on the link in the description below and use the code BECOMING20 at the checkout. It will get you a 20% discount, not just on my book, but on all the items in your basket. You can follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube for blogs, videos and other discussions on professionalism in teaching. And you can go to my website, newteacherstalk.com, for even more.